This clip is about scale degree names and Roman numeral analyses. We we'll still use C major as our example. First note, tonic. Second note, supertonic. Third note, median. Fourth note, subdominant. Fifth note, dominant. Sixth note, submedian. Seventh note, leading tone. And it's tonic again. I'm sorry, the octave I'm writing and the octave I'm playing um, are not the same one. It's just the way the camera is situated. These names are actually quite easy to remember. If you put the tonic at the center, the relationship of the fifth is the dominant. If it's a fifth higher, we call it the dominant. If it's a fifth below, we call it the subdominant. Notice the fact that the fifth below equals to the fourth above. C, B, A, G, F, F, fifth below. Fourth above C, D, E, F. So now we know the first one's called a tonic. The fifth one's called a dominant. And the fourth one's called a subdominant. The distance of the third is referred to as the median. A third above, C, D, E, median. A third below, C, B, A, is called a submedian. So third, median. Third below, submedian. A second above is supertonic. Just a second note. Supertonic. The second below it's called leading tone. So let's go over this again. Tonic. Supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submedian, leading tone, tonic. This is all you have to know for CM testing. Some people call the seventh note of the natural minor subtonic because it's a whole step instead of calling a leading tone. But for CM testing, I don't think they ever ask you this. So the seventh note just call a uh, leading tone. Okay. Roman numeral analyses are used for chords in various different keys. So if we use C major as example again, the first the chord is built on top of the first note, the tonic, it's called the one. Built on top of the second note, it's called the two. Built on top of the third note, it's called the three. Built on top of the fourth note, it's called the four. Fifth note, five. Sixth note, six. Seventh note, seventh. And then the eighth one is the same as the first one. Notice that some are uppercase, some are lowercase. Oh, sorry, this needs a circle um, at the right, upper right hand corner. If the triad is a major triad, then it's uppercase. That's a major triad, that's why this is uppercase. So, major triad uppercase, minor triad, lowercase. 
diminished triad, lowercase, plus a circle. And there's another type, it's augmented triad, that's uppercase, and a plus sign. So plus a plus sign. Okay. Regardless of what major you're in, the first chord is always going to be major, second chord is always going to be minor. We can do it in the key of G major, just for practice. Let me write out the G major scale first. Give it the key signature. Okay, then I can start stacking triads on top of each note. Remember, triads are a third plus a fifth. Oh, sorry, this should be an E. Okay. That's a major triad. We know it's a major triad because in the key of G major, you get G, B, D as the first, third note, and fifth note. That's why it's uppercase. Then we go on to A, C, natural E. A, C, natural E is a minor triad. We know that because in the key of A major, you would get a C sharp. So we know that A, C sharp, E is a major triad. And then if the middle note is lower by a half step, then it must be a minor triad. Then we have B, D, F sharp. In the key of B major, you're going to have B, D sharp, F sharp. So if this is major, this must be minor. C, G. By now you should be familiar with this chord because we talk about it frequently. It's a major triad. That's why we give it uppercase Roman numeral. Then D, F sharp, A. If you're in the key of D major, you will definitely get that F sharp, so it's also a major triad. Five. Okay. Then E, G, B, it's minor. Da, da, da. Notice how it sounds kind of intense and kind of close to one another. It's a diminished triad. So if it's diminished triad, remember to add the circle. And then it's major again. This, these are major keys. Let's try the minor key. We're going to use A minor scale as the example. Notice that I intentionally played the harmonic minor scale instead of the natural minor scale. Let's review this. Natural minor follows the key signature, which has no sharps or flats for A minor, so natural minor will be Harmonic minor, raise the seventh note. Composers use harmonic minor way more frequently than natural minors. The reason being that it has a different, different note than the relative major scale. So C major has all white keys, A minor has all white keys plus that G sharp if you're in harmonic minor. And because of that G sharp, it gives A minor its distinct character versus C major. Let me write out the A minor scale first. Remember, never, never put G sharp over here as the key signature, because that's not the key signature. It's a accidental that we add onto it. Okay. We're gonna add a G sharp because harmonic minor. And oh, sorry, there's a G sharp here too. Okay. We know that it's A minor, so it's lowercase. Sorry. It's got that crush sound, so um, we know that it's a diminished triad. 
Listen to this. It sounds kind of wide. It sounds really sharp to me. It's an augmented triad. It's half step wider than a major. So we need a plus sign next to it. And this minor, this sorry, major, major, it's a diminished triad. And we're back to the tonic. So another review. A minor, A tonic, B super tonic, C median, D subdominant, E dominant, F submedian, G sharp, it's the leading tone because it leads to A.